going back a little bit to the earlier part of your career, I know in the New York Times piece, I think, or it might have been the, the piece with, with Chavez, you talked about 2015, and then there was that incident at the Oxy meet. Um, that always stuck out to me because um, you were still really good in 2015. You're still really good in 2016. Those would have been your, what, your freshman year of college and your sophomore year of college. And you were making U.S. finals. I think right now, if a freshman made a U.S. final straight out of the NCAA, we'd say that's a huge accomplishment. But because what you did uh, before, it it didn't seem as as, as big. I and it, it just struck me as really strange that there would be so much criticism from a coaching perspective on it on a performance when you were still so good. Is that just the culture of if you're not making teams, then you're not important. What what is that? Because a lot of these things, it just they seem so de- detrimental to your development. They didn't even seem like good coaching, and and that was confusing to me. Yeah, and I, I think in retrospect, it's confusing to me too. Because I mean, I remember I came in eighth at USA's in 2015, and I mean, the 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 backlash was incredible, and it felt like the you know world had ended. And now I sit here and I'm like, whoa, like, it is pretty good. <laughs> like, yeah. you know, it's all about how you, how you frame something. And, you know, I think even now, sometimes I look back at my career and I'm like, you know, I was a pro from 2013 to 2014 and, you know, I was still 11th in 2016. Um, but I think the culture was one in which, um, like anything other than team making was a fail. Mm-hmm. Um, and I think, you know, like, I don't really fully understand why, um, like, why that was the case, or, you know, in, in certain ways, for some people, there wasn't really that level of pressure, but for others, there was. Um, but, yeah, I mean, for me now, I just, you know, I I kind of look back at 2015 and 2016, actually, with, and I feel in certain ways, they give me more confidence than even previous years. Because I'm like, wow, I was in a really, really bad place. I still did pretty well. <laughs> like the amount of like emotional just damage I was incurring during that time and the fact that I just hated every step of running and could still like I think I still squeaked out like four oh nine my freshman year or something. Um, it just kind of reminds me that it's like even when things aren't going perfectly, if you just keep showing up, um, I think I still have a really large runway to, you know, kind of build back up to that. But yeah, I, you know, I think for any um, coach or for any uh, runner who's, you know, whether you're middle school, high school, college, it doesn't matter. um, If you're feeling this, like, just immeasurable pressure always to win or medal um you you should take a step back and maybe just figure out exactly where that pressure is coming from and why that's the case because you know i'm an incredibly competitive person i always have been um the other day my boyfriend did more pull-ups than i did and i was very upset about it like so i'm not i'm not gonna be <laughs> not competitive but when it's the end of the world to have other hardworking, incredibly talented people beat you, um, that's that's a problematic mindset to be um, like pushed onto you. 